Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. 52 and 7. Yeah, that's what I was thinking last night. I was like, damn, we're going opposite. You start here first, then you come back, then you go back that line. Yeah, because the, the end is on 59. Yeah. I'm going to go nope. and take the end. The hour, you need the hour. Well, I can walk home from here. Oh, okay. I'm literally thinking about just sending him an email, like, depending on how, how he gets out of here. Right. It's already past 12 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I'll call him after we finish this one because you were taking up. You going back to the office? No. 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 Okay. That's not gonna happen. I can tell you that. I can tell you that without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> I'm not gonna go back to that office. Uh, That's what I said. Like me, I can throw this on my book bag and walk home, and I get home in 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm on. Um, who am I? I'm on. Well, I'm moving, but. I'm on 75th and 3rd. Okay. So oh, 75th and 3rd. Okay. Hit 3rd Avenue. Uh -huh. and start walking. What the heck? Oh, I didn't even know. There you go. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, can hit, I can hit 4th Avenue and take it straight back up. These are the expensive houses, the brownstones. Actually, it's not that expensive over here. Oh, it's not that expensive? Back where I'm at. Ah, uh -huh. it's very, yeah. yeah. That's why I'm moving. I can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> can't afford it. I'm paying 30000 a year. Whoa. For a two bedroom. Yeah. Can't afford it. Oh. Wife ain't working. I don't make enough here. That's Got like. To go. That's like a mortgage. Yeah, it's a mortgage. I've been there for seven years. Seven, wow. So it's top of me. I, that means like I told the landlord, I was like, y'all got, y'all work, y'all upset that I can't pay you rent. But you motherfuckers, excuse my French, made almost $100,000 off of me in seven years. Whoa. I could have kept that money and bought a house. <laughs> <laughs> or we'll put a down payment on the house somewhere. Well, you know what? The sad thing is, that's not how life works, right? I know. Listen, <laughs> like I tell people, you better hope heaven and hell don't have a damn ATM because there's going to be a lot of broke people crying. <laughs> oh, oh yes. So I'm moving back in the park slow. Yeah. So it's funny. These two locations is closer to me now. Oh. When I move in the end of the month, uh -huh. the one over there near Pitkin Avenue and Flatbush is closer. Well, Pitkin's, we're shutting that down. Thank God. I ain't going to go over there anymore. That in Bron me Brownsville, oof. Yeah, I'll go to It's a hot spot. If I can't carry a gun, I don't go to Brownsville. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was walking there one time to take the bus because sometimes I take the I don't drive everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. And as I'm jogging to get the bus, because the bus is gonna be there like in a minute, some guys were sitting down, about like five guys. They say, Oh shit, I thought you were coming for us. <laughs> they thought as as the police. I don't go to Brownsville. I'm Brownsville. like, no, man. I've lived in Brooklyn most of my life. Right. Compared to I lived down south for a couple of years. Uh huh. I would never go to Brownsville. They couldn't put a million dollars in front of something and tell me to come pick it up. I'd be like, nope, thank you. <laughs> You're like, nope. Nope. I've lived in bed style. Yeah, bed That's style. enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know, I walk in those, like, I go to the Bronx the other day, South Bronx, right? Oh, wow. And then I was walking through, I, I went to Bronx Care. And as I'm walking, man, you could feel the energy. Wow. It's I'll so go, raw. I'll go to the Bronx. They can't pay me to go Bronx. My wife's <laughs> family is in the Bronx. So if I went to the Bronx, I could run and run to somebody's house. I know. I'm not going. Somebody asked me for a job. It was a couple months ago before I got here. And I turned the job. Oh, and wow. like, it's in the Bronx. No. They, they told you it's in the Bronx, and you're like, no. nope, not interested. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you don't go. I don't go to the Bronx. <laughs> I have never been in the Bronx my entire life. Right. I refuse to go there. I only went to the Bronx when I was a kid, and that was to see the animals, <laughs> <laughs> the Bronx Zoo. <laughs> right. After that, no. Certain places I will not go to because I know it's hectic, it's crazy, yeah, it's dangerous. Yep. And plus, I'm from Brooklyn. I know where the spots are now. That's why I'm going to say it because like Pickens Avenue and Flatbush, I'm looking at him like, 
You really want me to carry a gun and bullet through the best, huh? <laughs> Dude, I'm looking at that like, you know you from the Manhattan, you don't know about, about Flatbush, do you? Right. Hey, I visit, I visit. a hot spot for COVID and everything, yeah. I know. I visit this place once a month, man. Yeah. So I take the train to 2 out of 5. Mm -hmm. When I walk, when I get out and I start walking, I walk like I own the damn place. You have to. Because they don't know if you're around there or not. Exactly. I know, when I get off, they look at me like, oh, he wanted to go for a dude from the neighborhood. Yep. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Melvin, Mel Dudley. Yeah, buddy. I'm fine, thanks. How are you, buddy? Say that again? Oh, they're coming out real small? Even after you log out and log back in? Uh -huh. Same thing? Yeah, oh, it just started today? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Walking to uh, what's the name of that place? Sunset Park, Seven Five Avenue. Maybe, maybe when I get there, I can try to log in and see. I know yesterday I tried to log in. I couldn't log in yesterday, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to log in and uh, maybe get some information. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, don't hurt you. Don't hurt your head about it. This is this is beyond your control. Keep your control. It don't hurt your head about it. <laughs> Listen, uh, if you if you if you can control it, don't hurt your head about it, man. If it's beyond your control, don't hurt your head about it. Nothing you could do. All right. Okay, I'll give you a call later. All right, thanks, yeah.